So my question to all Trump supporters and to Trump himself is, when did the issues of common Americans become the issues of a billionaire? A New York real estate billionaire. When has he ever been affected by the social ills that we, especially as minorities, face in this country? And that women face in this country? And that children face in this country? Especially below the line of poverty. When has Donald Trump's life ever been impacted by anything that the rest of us have always been affected by in this country. He has never known poverty. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and handed down in the state in which he, in which he filed for bankruptcy six times. That's how great of a businessman he was. He's always benefited from the tax brackets of the Republican Party. So it's not, it's not unusual for him to switch and jump ship to that party, which he always knew. At its heart and soul was white nationalistic and were Confederate at heart. He's always known that. But when has his life ever even impact, impacted them? Never. Donald Trump has never experienced the ills that we face in this country, no matter what demographics we come from. He's never had a care nor concern about any of our issues. None. He doesn't care about rural America. He doesn't care whether or not they have adequate education, whether they're fed, whether, whether they have job opportunities or not, because he's done nothing for them. His only play at public office was a power play. It was about money and power. He seized on an opportunity for a money grab. And now he's being investigated again for 10 million in cash amongst other things, because he is utterly corrupt at heart. He's bankrupt at heart. And he's trying to steal from America now. And his hope is to get into office and never get out of office as he fought to stay in office the last time by any and every means necessary. But for that man to stand on a stage and pretend as if our issues are his issues, it's a lie. He doesn't know anything about us. He's never suffered what the vast majority of Americans have suffered from. He's had all the luxuries and leisures in life that anyone could want or need, and even more so. When he has gone so far as to publicly state that he can violate a woman because he's a celebrity, and then what does he do when he gets into office? The ultimate violation of women by stripping of them their rights to choose. He lost 2.9 million jobs while in office. Unemployment went up while he was in office. And I know that they like to blame the COVID on that, but that was his responsibility and he acted contrary to what every professional was saying. And there was handed to his administration a playbook on how to contain and to deal with all viruses. They had wrote a playbook to protect us from any spread because we've seen enough of them. But his administration threw out that playbook and chose not to act accordingly. He put us at risk. He put us at risk when he would not shut down our borders. When his whole pitch into getting into office was build a wall, build a wall, national security. Yet when it came to our national security and preventing the virus to get here, did he? No. 
He blocked, he blocked, he blocked flights from China, but not Europe. And the virus didn't come into America from China. It came in through Europe, which he allowed. There was a way of saving Americans and saving our economy at the time. But he did none of the above. He is solely responsible for the actions of himself while in office. And when he was in office and it was on him to protect us from being, from being invaded by a virus, he didn't do it. He allowed the virus to enter. And once it was here, what did he do? He had all of these super spreader rallies that every time they had a rally, those places would just, just be overwhelmed with cases of COVID. He was literally going around the country himself on a COVID spreading rally. So he is solely to blame for what happened during that time. He is responsible for everything that would happen in this country during his time because he did nothing to protect Americans when all he ever cared about was protecting his own interest. Let us not forget that. Let us not forget that a president has a duty and a responsibility to protect us. And he did none of that. He lost jobs. He lost lives. And he doesn't care about us. He locked children up in cages. And for what? Let us not forget how much his presidency has cost us.